Hey everyone, Eran Stern here with a new tutorial. This time I thought to show you a useful tool inside After Effects which some users overlook. It's a simple easy to use effect that goes by the name Color Link. You can use it to quickly match colors and light between two layers or more. But before we'll see the solution it offers, let's try to recreate the problem. Make sense? I hope so. Okay. We'll design a cool disco tunnel filled with colorful light balls and then match our actor's colors to the scene. This will also give me the opportunity to show you another relatively new feature in After Effects CS4, Wiggle Transform, a new way to affect shape layer's movement in the program. So if you're ready, let's begin the design by creating a new comp. I'll name this comp Light Balls and then set the width to 1280 and the height to 360 pixels. We need a very wide comp cause in a minute we will wrap this around a cylinder. By giving it a wider dimension, we'll be able to create the extreme perspective I'm after. Bear with me here and you'll see for yourself in a minute. But for now, let's just define the length here to 10 seconds and press OK. I'll enable the title safe grid and zoom in very closely to the middle of the comp. Next I'll grab the ellipse tool and as long as nothing is selected in my timeline I can create my first shape layer. Now I'm holding command on the Mac, control on the PC plus shift to draw a perspective circle from the middle of the screen. I want to generate a very small circle here, so if I need to define it precisely, I can always drill this menu down and under the ellipse path, I can define a specific amount in pixels. For this shape, I'll choose 15 pixels. Note that my shape has a light blue fill with no stroke on it. Okay, now we can zoom out to see the full comp view. I will also dismiss the title grid and then grab my shape layer and move it to the upper left corner of the screen. Next I want to repeat it so it will cover the whole width of the comp. The easiest way to do it is to add a repeater operator to this shape. Here we can set as many copies as we need but in order to make them tighter together we need to open the transform repeater and set the X position to a lower number. This will then move the copy closer together. I think I'll choose here something around 24 pixels and then go up and add more copies until they will fill the whole width of the screen. Now I want to do the same on the vertical axis, but I want to duplicate what I already have in place. So make sure the shape layer is still selected and then go under the add menu and add another repeater. This time we'll need a vertical copies. So open the transform repeater too and under position set the X to zero and just play with the Y value. Again, I'll choose the same number here, so it will look symmetric. And then we can go up and add more copies until we fill up the screen. Very good. We now have our basic light bulbs wall in place. By the way, if you feel you need to shove them a bit, you can always use the arrow keys and nudge the whole group to place it in the middle of the screen. It doesn't need to be pixel perfect as we will soon warp this comp around a rolling cylinder, but if you are compulsive like me, it doesn't hurt to play with it until it looks the best it can. Next step is to create some scaling movement to each one of these balls individually. Of course we want to do this with the minimum effort we can, so return to the add operator menu and choose to add the wiggle transform operator. This option is new to CS4 and what it does is allowing you to wiggle the transform of a shape layer using the famous wiggle command. Now it's very important where this operator is placed in the hierarchy of the layer. For instance, if you place it before the repeaters and then open its transform properties and set a different value for the scale, say 50% for this matter, and now create a RAM preview, you will see that all of the balls are wiggling together at the same time. Of course, we don't fancy this behavior, so instead I'll drag the wiggle transform operator and place it 
under the two repeaters. Now if we perform another ramp review, you will see that the wiggle is affecting the shapes individually as they are being repeated in both horizontal and vertical manner and then being wiggled. This will create a very interesting animation. To get the most of it, let's modify it a little bit. Go to the wiggle transform and change the wiggles per second to 4 so we'll have more energetic scaling movement and then set the correlation to 10%. This will give us more variation and scale each circle differently from its neighbor. Okay, another quick run preview to check the result and I think it looks great. As a last step here, I'll also add two more effects to this layer. So under color correction, add the U and saturation filter and let's create a simple U shift over the 10 seconds comp we have here. So at the first frame, click the stopwatch for the color range, then move to the end of the comp and set it to do a one full revolution on the master U wheel. Scrub the timeline to verify that we have the variations in colors. And on top of this, let's go to effect, stylize and add the glow effect. To emphasize the glow, I think I will change the glow radius to 15. And I think we are done here. Create another ramp preview to check the animation in motion. Now, only if you're happy, let's move to the next stage. I'll return now to the project panel and create my main comp now. I'll call it Dense Tunnel and set the dimensions to 640 by 360 and the length can stay 10 seconds. Then press OK. Now drag the light balls comp into this one and go under the effects and preset menu and start to type CCCY. This should isolate the cylinder effect. Drag this effect on the light balls layer and let's open the position and rotation to modify them. First, I'll change the rotation X to 90 degrees, so the cylinder will be facing us. Now, I want to create a very wide perspective angle here, so the best way to achieve that is to set a very low radius value, such as 15%, and then play with the position Z and maybe also with the position Y to move it in place. I'll start to scrub the position Z value until it covers the whole screen like that and also set a negative value to the position Y, maybe minus 10. This will raise it up so we'll get more of a floor filling in our comp. Now I also think it will be nice to animate it just a little bit so it looks more dynamic. I'll do it by setting a keyframe for the rotation Y at the first frame at the value of 0 and then at the end of the timeline I'll change it to 20 degrees or so. Okay, let's preview this to check if it meets our standards. And I definitely think it does. The only thing I don't like here is the hard edge of the cylinder shape in the middle of the screen. So I'll quickly create another shape layer using the ellipse tool. Make sure nothing is selected and choose a black fill to the circle. Once I'm happy with the shape, I'll add a fast blur effect to merge it nicely to the background. So we'll get a feeling of a tunnel fading out into the distance once it's moved away from us. Nice. Now we're arriving to the main point of this tutorial, the color link part, the matching of the colors. So I want to return to the project panel and then select this clip, which is a shot of a young dancer from the crowd control collection by All Bets Are Off. And then by holding down Alt or Option and double clicking on this file, it will open in the footage viewer. This will let you set an in point around 4 seconds when the dancer is already in the frame. And then I can press this icon, which will perform an overlay edit of this clip to the timeline. Now I will scale this clip to 50% and create another ramp preview. Now 
as you can see we have a nice composition which works okay except for the colors of the foreground and the background that doesn't really match so of course we can try to match them manually by adding some curves levels or other effects but let me show you another cool technique go to the color correction category and grab the color link effect this simple effect will colorize a layer with the average color of another layer, or the same layer if you want to. In this case, let's choose another source for it. I'll set it to use the light balls layer, and already you can see the outcome. If I move my playhead to different places in the timeline, you can see the average colors of the light balls reflecting on this layer and of course filling the screen. Here in this instance, I want to sample only the brightest values, so it will react as a re-light effect. So I'll choose this option here, the brightest, and in order to bring back our denser shape, we can tick the Stencil Original Alpha, which by its own creates a very nice look of a silhouette image of this denser, and again samples the colors of the background layer below. This is very nice, but I want to use this filter as a color matcher effect. So under the blending mode, I will choose a different blending such as overlay. And this will bring back my original denser pixels. Feel free to play with the other blend modes and see what you like. For now, I will leave it like this. However, I might change the overall opacity of the effect to something between 40 or 50% just to get a nice mix between the two. And that's it. It's ready. Let's create our final RAM preview to see the outcome. And there you have it, another easy and simple yet creative way to color correct and match colors inside After Effects. I hope you find this useful and you are eager to test it on your own images. To the sound and vision of these groovy disco lights, I will remind you to check my new and updated website at sternfix.com version 2, where you can find lots of new content new download section with free After Effects project and many many new surprises. So make sure to check it today. So until next time we meet, this is Eran Stern for CreativeCow.net quoting young David Bowie which once said blue blue electric blue that's the color of my room where I live blue blue. Don't you wonder sometimes about sound and vision?